everyone. I hope you're doing well. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My people, I bring a quick video, a clip. I call it a clip because it's actually a clip, but I will advise that you please watch it several times so that you can understand what this man is talking about. Like if you see the topic on the thumbnail, you see where I say that this man, this pastor actually killed himself. I am coming out to talk today because the, he is not the first person. Many a times I've shared a video where pastors will be preaching and they will slump and they will die. I want to tell us that wisdom is profitable to direct. In fact, the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 says that wisdom is the principal thing. He said, therefore, get wisdom. And he said, in all thy getting, get understanding. You see, many a times I keep on wondering, is it that we don't understand this, our God, the way he made us as a human being, or we don't uh, want to, I, I, I agree to the fact that we are human, that this, our body is just a cattle. He can, it cannot live forever. It's just like a horse. And the you are the spirit that is riding on that horse. That when you kill the horse, the rider, which is the body, will not ride. Or do you think that the body, when you kill the body, that the spirit of God upon you, that is using you, will die with you? It's not possible. You know what? When you drop dead, what will happen is that the spirit of God upon you, including your own spirit, they will separate it from the body and go to their maker. So my people, you will watch this video, you will see that this man actually died for negligence. You see, he said he received sharp heart pain, serious one, and he still come back to preach. And I believe he died that same day. I believe that's what happened. That that man, why he turned himself to RYP, just because of negligence. You see, this body, he has a voice and he speaks. And when you refuse to listen to this body, when he will, you know, abandon you, you will think it's a joke. You will think it's one person from your village and you don't know that it's negligence. Please, people of God, let us pay attention to the voice of our body in the area of health. That does not make you a, a, a faithless somebody. I'll be how do I put it? That does not make you a weakling. That does not make you a baby in the Lord. It doesn't make you a baby in Christ that you go to seek the help of, uh, you know, the help or the cancer of medical experts when you receive signal. You don't abandon yourself and think that the grace is sufficient. The grace of God is sufficient for you to do his job, to do his work, to spread the good news. But not when the body is crying and say, oh, I need attention. And you pack it in one corner, you are doing big manism in the spirit. You are doing macho manism in the spirit. You are doing a, a supermanism. Yes. You see this man, very young, vibrant pastor that is doing well. I think... Some people that will get this video will know this man. And this man just buy like that. Just buy just because he didn't listen to himself. Didn't listen to his body. Do you not, do you, you not see it? So my message today is, is this. You see that body that you have, all of us are, are nourishing and doing bri -bri, gra -gra -gra -gra, up and down. That body, eh? It expire. And before it will expire, in most cases, he gives, he gives signal. And when, when he wants to aspire like that and begin to cry, if you can rescue that body from whatever is going through, it can serve you for some time. So my people, watch this clip and see what happened to this man. Let us learn from it. Let's get understanding. When I mean understanding, it's not just understanding of the scriptures. It's not on, or just understanding of the Holy Spirit. The understanding also includes the understanding of your body system. Go and take care of yourself when you receive any signal. You see this heart we are talking about? 
It doesn't just pack up like that. Before it will pack up, it would have given you a series of signals. And many a times, when you see people pack up this way, it's because they ignored those signals and think that, oh, I have prayed, all will be well. And you forget that even the doctors, God gave them wisdom for a time like this. So my people, watch these clips. Please share. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, I beg you, see that this channel is upcoming channel. Please subscribe. And God Almighty, we bless you as you share this video. Give this video to your husbands. Give it to your uncles, your brothers. You know that they, this, their own level of stress is of the highest order. So that they can see that a time will come when the body will begin to cry. And wisdom says, pay attention. Thank you so much. And God bless you. I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Several things stopped me from coming today. First was last night. I had a very severe chest pain that I could not lie down. So I sat down till morning and prayed. So I said, okay, I'll still come. And then the very cool matter happened on the road. So I asked the Lord, is this a sign that I shouldn't come? Or is there somebody the devil is battling uh, that should not be touched? Several things stopped me from coming today. First was last night. I had a very severe chest pain that I could not lie down. So I sat down till morning and prayed. So I said, okay, I'll still come. And then the very cool matter happened on the road. So I asked the Lord, is this a sign that I shouldn't come? Or is there somebody the devil is battling uh, that should not be touched?